The achievement of these young players did not go unnoticed. They received a warm reception upon their arrival from Mauritius with their second place finish at the Kosafa Women's Under-17 Cup. Simpiwe Zulu had selected almost an entire new squad for the tournament with only three players remaining from the previous team. Bandwana only lost one match at the tournament, conceding just three goals. It's a true reflection uh, what we got because um, mentally they will still grow, physically they will still grow in terms of football and that level of competition. There's a lot of pressure because this team has come back from the World Cup so we have that pressure on our shoulders but with the support and the right uh, timing of going into competitions I think we will not do just good but we will always uh, give our best. Zulu feels that the annual Kosafa tournament will assist her to prepare for major continental and global events. The former Banyana Banyana defender has reached a few milestones since being appointed at the helm. She qualified for the 2018 FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup and recently she guided the Under-20 Women's National Team to a Kosafa bronze medal. When we do uh, have an opportunity to play in the Kosafa Cup, uh, it gives us an opportunity to play under pressure. It gives us an opportunity to already teach the girls the competition level is how high it is because um, when you qualify for the World Cup, sometimes you don't get as much preparation, but you know what it means to compete with different styles, with different teams under pressure. In recent years, South Africa's women junior national teams have been playing on the continent regularly, which has also benefited Banyana Banyana. It has made the progression of players from junior to senior national team easier. It makes our job easier. They're getting structured coaching from an early age um, and that is important for us because the higher you go, the more difficult it becomes and if a player is not properly structured and organized, it becomes even more difficult. With Banyana Banyana in the rebuilding phase following their exit from the Olympic qualifiers, Lulu says it is important that she continuously works hand in hand with Ellis to assist her to get quality players. It will also ensure that players are not lost in the system. Lebantube, SABC News.